I have no idea what the uh, Berlin Wall was like. I mean, other than just photos I saw. This seems, for whatever reason, it seems bigger. It seems a little bit harsher. I don't know. But, um, yeah, just uh, interesting trying to process this all. Say, so what does this mean, uh, particularly from a Western context? Um, what is our due diligence without oversimplifying and, and just saying something trite and easy like, well, we just need to tell their story. Or really? Just tell their story? Uh, do we need to just tell the story or, or or really does almost the framework within which we would even understand the story need to, to be corrected? Because I think more than anything, it's not just hearing a story or understanding uh, some anecdotes of some things that people in Palestine and Israel uh, go through, but I think uh, recontextualizing, uh, no, not recontextualizing, but just reworking the framework within which we process these same things. Um, to what degree uh, does, especially as evangelicals, to what degree does our theology, um, rightly or wrongly, uh, inform the framework within which we interact with with uh, the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and with this uh, with this separation wall? Um, to what degree do do our our politics uh, uh, interact with that uh, to the same to the same effect? Um, some, just some questions I'm grappling with and uh, invite you to grapple with them along with me.